All right, guys, Auto Fanatics. So if you guys saw my video from a few days ago, I showed you guys how to replace this and I also did a foam cannon demonstration with and without. And I explained in that video about the high chlorine and sediment that my local municipal water supply has. Well, I'm actually gonna be changing the larger filter that goes on the main line of the home. And it's a similar filter, but of course, massively sized larger. So it's the same style filter. It's called a carbon block filter knocks out chlorine and it also knocks down sediment down to 25 microns. So I'm gonna just show you guys real quick uh, how I unscrew this on the main line. I'm gonna pop the new filter in and I'm gonna show you guys the old filter that's about four weeks old and I'm gonna just explain to you why having any kind of filter on your water filtration system makes a lot of sense, whether it's for washing your car or in your homes. So let's get over to the main line right now and get this All filter. Right guys, so we're over at the main filter housing that goes into the main line of the house. This does not filter out any of the gardening system or the hose system. So if you see here, this looks very similar to the housings on the CR spotless system. So what you have to do, you gotta turn the valves off inside, which I already did. There's a pressure release button right up top. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to put a bucket on the bottom like I show you, and it gives you this little wrench. It's like a little spanner wrench that locks into the housing. A little tight over here with all my lumber so we got that loose okay that's gonna make a little bit of a mess but I want to show you guys the condition of this filter I'm just gonna let it drip out wow. Right, guys so you could see this is the brand new filter and this is the filter that's been on my main water line for four weeks you could see how disgusting it is it actually has like a greasy sludge that's all over it and I'm scraping it right now oh god this thing is heavy um, but you could see it right there this is what happens after four weeks so this is pretty much just a larger version of these little camco filters that I recommended on my channel so just wanted to show you guys what it looks like after four weeks, why you should always filter your water supply in your home for your family to take showers, to do your clothes, whatever. And also, if you don't want to uh, have water spots and you want to get better foam, I highly suggest buy some of those Camco filters, throw it on your hose line into your pressure washer or whatever. And I think you're going to notice a significant difference. But look at all the crap. Four weeks, and this is all slimy and sludged up. You can see that there? This is all the crap that's coming into the house. Okay, you can see that there. It's all rust, it's sediment, it's everything down to you know 25 microns. It's really disgusting stuff. This is the stuff that you're cooking with, you're showering with, you're washing your laundry with, and also you're washing your cars if, if your main line is connected to your uh, spigot for the hose. So just wanted to show you guys quick, we're gonna be putting the new filter in right now. And the situation where I live, with the municipality water, they have too much chlorine and there's too much iron and sediment in the water. So what happens is the water's got a lot of contamination. So what they do, they overdo it on the chlorine, which is very, very bad for you. It causes eczema, psoriasis, atopical dermatitis. It's just a huge health problem. Also, when you run the steam in the shower with too much chlorine, it creates a gas that actually affects your respiratory system. It's not really good for you. And over time, it's actually been linked to a lot of health disorders as well. So I just wanted to show this as a complimentary short video of what these carbon block sediment filters do and what they look like after a certain number of weeks. Now, the water in my house, the flow started getting really, really low. Uh, the toilets weren't filling up and the water pressure out of the faucets was really, really slow. And that's been an indicator of now it's time to change the carbon block filter. So unfortunately, these filters, according to the Cullingham company who came and installed the system in our house, they said that this should last six to nine months. Believe it or not, we're only getting four weeks out of it due to the contaminated water that's coming in through our main water line. All right, so there's actually leftover water in this housing and I'm gonna pour it into the bucket right here. And you guys can see it on camera. And you can see that the water is completely cloudy. It looks like piss. Disgusting. So this is the water that you're drinking, showering with, and doing your car washes with. 
pretty disgusting stuff. So, like I said, if you guys want to do it right, put a main filter on your house, on the main line like I show you here. Very simple to change. You could buy these filters on Amazon for about, this was about 40 bucks. And for washing your cars, this is a miniature version of the same technology and same type of filtration system. It's a carbon block sediment filter. It reduces the chlorine and the sediment. The same thing that this does, except this is made for higher PSI and also for hull house systems, which uses much more gallons uh, throughout its life cycle. So stay tuned to the channel for more content. Just wanna show you guys this quick video. And uh, thanks for watching. And like I said, this is the disgusting stuff that's coming through your know, municipal water system that a lot of you guys don't see, uh, you know, with your visual eyes coming out of the faucets. But this is why you guys are getting a lot of water spots, uh, bad foam and other, you know, skin conditions that are pretty much pretty common in a lot of uh, districts all over the country. So please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more content and I'll see you guys on the next video soon.